Sometimes, especially when setting up camera angles and lighting, we want to avoid distractions from various textures. Other times, we might aim for a stylized conceptual image or a render that resembles a physical model of the project. In this video, we'll explore how to use the new material override options in V-Ray 7 to achieve these results more quickly and easily. Let's get started. In the first example, we will use a simple interior project. I'll enable the material override option and start an interactive render. You'll notice that many aspects that typically affect the image are lost due to its limitations. For instance, the warm light from the lamp won't illuminate the space because it's behind glass. Additionally, the prominent bump texture on the wall, which affects the geometry's appearance, will be missing. Furthermore, refractions and reflections will not be visible. To address these issues, V-Ray 7 for SketchUp introduces new options under Preserve Properties in the Material Override settings. Here, we'll notice checkboxes for preserving many key aspects of the image. Let's start by showing the prominent brick bumpiness on the wall. Simply enable the bump parameter, and the bump in the model will be preserved. Now, as mentioned earlier, there is a warm light behind a glass. Since refraction is not preserved by default, the light is not visible. By enabling the refraction parameter, refraction is retained across all objects in the image, making the light and glass objects visible. We can enable any parameters we want to preserve from the listed, such as reflections, opacity, or self-illumination. Preserving these parameters significantly enhances the perception of the image, as they can drastically alter its overall appearance. Let's now take a look at another use case. Here, we have an exterior render with the Material Override option enabled, using the default gray color. Looking at the modes in the drop-down menu, we will see the two options available before V-Ray 7, simple color and a material. If we wanted to create something resembling a physical model, we would have to use the second option and create a material for the physical model, such as wood, plastic, or clay. Now, to save time, new presets have been introduced for the most common materials used in physical models or stylized renders. Let's take a look at all of them. The first preset is a white shade with ambient occlusion. It highlights shapes and surface details by adjusting the material color based on the proximity of objects. This makes the geometry stand out in a subtle yet very effective way. The Arctic mode is quite similar, but with a bluish tint and slightly stronger specular reflections. The clay mode is perfect for emphasizing model features, with its distinct color, which also changes slightly when viewed from different angles. There's also a darker version of it. Next, we have a plastic material that simulates real-world thin, translucent plastic. When paired with artificial lighting, it creates interesting effects as light passes through the translucent surfaces. The wooden arm preset simulates plywood, making it ideal for renders that resemble physical models. If we take a closer look, we'll notice that the texture is too dense. We can easily adjust this with the scale slider. Now, the scale looks more like a small physical model made of wood. Another thing to note is the soft edges. This is thanks to the round edges option, which is enabled by default with the new presets and controlled through the scale slider as well. Another thing we can observe here is that the windows are also covered with the plywood material. To change that, we can simply enable the split refractive option and the windows will automatically become transparent. Thanks for staying with me until the end. In this video, we explored how to take advantage of the new options in the global material overrides to create even more stunning conceptual or stylized renders. See you soon.